Hello, these are the key tutorial points from tutorial 6. First of all, let's deal with ETMA04. Of course, a major purpose uh, in that uh, TMA was to get you using the internet and researching. Uh, one thing very important, do make a note of what worked and what didn't work in your searches. The different uh, databases have their own uh, little quirks and by taking a note, by um, noting which words were effective, which words weren't, uh, you'll get a much better idea of uh, what strategy to use for um, the particular type of case and the particular database that you're using. So learn from that research. The second one is um, about the ones that had most of the marks and that was the summaries uh, that you were requested to do in part three and sometimes part four of uh, the main questions. Key point to remember is that you need to answer the specific question set. Now I know recently we've seen some beautiful examples of people answering slightly different questions from the one they're posed. I'm thinking in particular of some of the very carefully crafted answers that we've seen in the phone hacking inquiry. Um, I've actually put up on Washminster the uh, full hearing from the Culture, Media and Sports Committee that the Murdochs appeared before and also uh, Prime Minister Cameron uh, making a statement and taking questions, some of which his answers aren't quite the question asked. So if you want to go have a look at that in Washminster, you're, you're welcome to. But in academic essays, you have to answer the question that's set. And some people uh, gave very good descriptions of the facts of the case, but the question was asking for the reasoning and the conclusions to be summarised. And very important truth uh, about academic essays, it really does have to be an answer to the question set. What else did we look at in uh, the tutorial? We looked at social policy, and we looked at free movement of persons, um, and of course there are subtle distinctions between the rights that are enjoyed by uh, workers, by citizens generally, by the families uh, of citizens, and then of course uh, non-citizens of the European Union. What I would of course urge you to do is, if you're dealing with a problem question, uh, do make sure that uh, you've recognised uh, whether a citizen of a particular country is also a citizen of the European Union. Uh, the classic problem question invites you to consider, say, somebody from the Czech Republic and also somebody from Turkey. Czech Republic is a member, Turkey isn't. On to TMA05. The key to this one is make sure that you are fully conversant with the key cases, that you understand what the rules that they set down are and what their significance is. Now this is not just for the TMA, it's also a very important point for uh, the exam. So the Dassonville formula, the two rules that you'll find in uh, the Cassis case, um, Keck, and of course there are some other cases. So as you're preparing TMA um, 05, do make sure that you've looked through your manual to see whether there are any cases that are particularly relevant to the problem that's uh, faced with you. Now I've sent out to you uh, the flow diagram which is a useful way of uh, working through uh, a problem question. Again, uh, useful uh, to take that into account when preparing your essay. Well, I look forward to getting those TMAs and um, uh, to the next tutorial in uh, a few weeks' time. Thank you.